Your fine frizzy hair that you struggle with all the time is probably pretty wavy or even curly and you have no idea. If you're regularly wearing your hair straight but it looks super terrible even after a droplet of water hits it, if it gets incredibly frizzy and hard to manage in humidity and if it air dries like this, girl, I'm here to tell you that your seemingly straight hair is actually wavy. Today I partnered with Keratin to show you a fine wavy hair routine that literally changed everything for me. Let's go. The first thing we need to do is address the fact that wavy and curly hair types are more prone to dryness and frizz than any other hair type. If you want to get nice waves, it's really important to give your wavy hair the love it needs with treatment masks. When I am trying to live my best wavy hair life, I like to do a treatment mask at least once a week to nourish those strands. So what I'm gonna do here is start by washing my hair with the freshening shampoo. The reason that I chose this shampoo and conditioner duo is because it's formulated to promote hair growth and prevent hair loss, which has been a big struggle for me. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that that has been a huge, huge struggle for me. It has hair strengthening ingredients like keratin and biotin in it, which I love. The freshening line is also free of parabens and silicones, and if you follow the curly girl method, you will know that those are big no-nos for curly hair girls. Then I get out of the shower and I towel dry my hair. The reason that I like towel drying my hair is because hair is like a sponge and when it's filled up with moisture, it's not going to be able to get the nutrients from the mask into the cortex as well. The real key though to getting a lot out of your treatment mask is to actually heat up the hair when the treatment mask is on. What heat does is it opens up the cuticles and it allows the conditioning agents from the mask or the oil to deeply penetrate into the hair shaft. Keratin actually has a heat cap that is super easy to use. This product is awesome, definitely in my top 10 beauty product recommendations. So what I do here is I heat the cap in the microwave for 90 seconds and then I leave it on my head for 20 to 30 minutes. If you want to close the cuticle and increase your shine level in your style, then you want to rinse your treatment mask out with cool water. The first thing I'm going to do is apply my intensive hair growth drops to the scalp. What you want to do is part your hair, fill the dropper, and apply drops on the scalp, focusing more on the areas where you can see more thinning. Massage your scalp with your fingers or with a scalp massager. Now, I just want to note that this is not minoxidil. It's actually drug-free. So this is a lightweight leave-in serum that nourishes hair follicles with essential nutrients to support the growth of healthier hair, but this is not a drug. This is not minoxidil. If you experience hair loss, I also really recommend focusing on the inside of the body as well as the outside of the body. Keratin also has hair growth vitamins and I really do recommend adding a hair growth vitamin to your routine. Now that I've taken care of my fine and thinning hair issues and now that I've taken care of my dry hair issues, we can move along to curl formation by using the curly system. The first product that I like to apply is a leave-in conditioner. I like to apply it about one inch away from my roots to the ends. And now I grab my styling gel and I apply a fairly generous amount from roots to ends as well. Now this is a styling technique that I just learned from the YouTube channel Mains by Mel and it is Oh my gosh, it is amazing. Mel is a curly hair specialist and she has an incredible channel dedicated towards curly hair that is extremely useful. If you have curly hair and you haven't checked her out before, I highly, highly recommend it. She has no idea who I am, but I fangirl over her regularly. So what I'm gonna do as taught by Mel is start by subsectioning the top of my hair out of the way. I take the side of my hair and I section it diagonally back. I pull it up and release it to give myself some lift right at the roots. The brush that I'm using here is a must have if you're brushing wet hair because it has multi-length bristles which allows for detangling with minimal breakage. After I get through that whole section of my hair brushing up lifting roots, I squish, 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 and clump the curls together. It is hard to tell that my hair has wave at all when it is wet, but if you look 
when I start squishing my hair, you can see how much texture I actually get. Try this, you guys will be shocked to see how much texture you may actually get on your seemingly straight hair. When I get to the top of my head, I'm gonna use herringbone sections so that I have lots of lift and not a defined part line. If I just part my hair and scrunch it, because of my hair texture, because it's fine and because it's not really that curly, what's gonna happen is I'm going to get a flat top and the curls are gonna start here. I've made that mistake a million times. The herringbone pattern really is a great way to not have that happen. So just pay attention to how I am doing this. I am just sectioning, pulling straight up, and then softly pushing the hair back. Sectioning again, pulling straight up, softly pushing the hair back in that herringbone style pattern. Then I flip my hair over again and I scrunch more of the gel into it. Now we're gonna start drying by hover diffusing. So I don't wanna start drying the bottom or even the mid shafts of my hair first. There is a lot more moisture that accumulates right here on the scalp. If I start drying this, I'm going to completely dry this out and then I'm not going to be able to get my roots to dry. So what I like to do is I like to flip my head over and on the highest heat and highest speed, I actually hover my diffuser over my roots. Now you have to have a little patience because this does take a little bit of time. Do not be tempted to squish your curls in that diffuser and mess up the shape and create a ton of frizz. Just hover that diffuser all the way around your head. Now when you can feel that your roots are starting to get a little bit dry, you can kind of zhuzh the diffuser into the hair right at the roots just a little bit to kind of break it up a tiny little bit and infuse more air into that root area. Then when I feel like I have gotten maybe 30, 40% dry, I like to flip all of my hair over to one side to create volume and I hover diffuse, hover diffuse, hover diffuse. And then I take my hair and I flip it over to the other side and I do the exact same thing. As you can see, I'm starting to get curl, I'm starting to get volume and lift from doing that flippy hover diffuse action. So now that I'm about 75% dry, I like to lower the speed of my blow dryer because I don't wanna blow the hair around too much because I'm not going to be hover diffusing now. And I also like to lower the heat a little bit so that I can minimize heat damage. Now that my curls have formed, I like to zhuzh it up a little bit just to lift those curls slightly and to get some of that moisture out of the mid shaft and ends. Now when my hair starts getting a lot more dry, I start getting a little bit afraid of frizz and disorganization in the waves because my hair is really wavy. It's not, you know, spirally curls. What I like to do is finish it off by hover diffusing again, just so that I don't risk putting any frizz into my hair with that pumping motion. Now, when my hair is finally at its dry stage, we like to scrunch out the crunch. The gel is so important if I don't use the gel, specifically this gel, I really love this keratin gel for my hair texture. If I don't use the gel, I really will look like a puff ball, but once I have gotten to the dry stage, I want to scrunch out that crunch. I want my hair to feel soft and pretty and wavy, but I do not want it to look overly crunchy. So when your hair is 100% dry, you can just take your nice clean hands and you can scrunch out and break that cast that you have on your hair from the gel. And this is what my hair looks like without using any other hot tools other than the diffuser. Now, because I'm a hot tool lover and I am picky AF and I also don't wear my hair curly a lot, my curl formation isn't perfect. If I were to go and do the curly hair method and I was going to not highlight or bleach my hair and I was going to get great layers and I was going to always deep condition and like really baby and treat my hair with a lot of respect and not use hot tools. I know that in a year or two, my curls would look bomb, but I'm just not willing to give up hot tools. I love hot tools. That is just not realistic for me. Doing the curly girl method for me is not something I would ever do. So my curls are not going to be 
perfect and that's okay. So what I like to do in order to really define and perfect my curls is when my hair is totally dry, I look around and see what areas of hair haven't formed properly. And those are typically the highlighted areas, actually 99.999%. It's the bleached area because curly hair, that's fine. When it gets bleached, it really does lose its curl pattern. And I know that. So there are some areas in my hair that look a little bit wimpy and that don't look very nice. So what I like to do is actually take a curling wand with a very small barrel. And I like to find where the curl formed in the roots in the healthy part. And I will help it along with the barrel to finish and define it. If you are doing the curly girl method, then you do not want to do this step. If you are just wanting to enjoy your curls, but you also want to blow out your hair a lot and get highlights and do other hot tool things, then you can also do this to enhance your curly look and have it look really perfect. Even when your curls maybe aren't really perfect. I hope that you guys found this video really helpful. I am including a ton more textured hair content into the channel. I want to be as inclusive of you guys as possible. Possible. And I've gotten a lot of questions lately about fine curly hair and how to style and manage it. If you have any questions, as always, leave it in the comment section. I take a lot of time to read and respond to as many comments as I possibly can. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.